Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, with Kakadash, and double honor to those great meals on let this truth, and also to the Hufi Let that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great, powerful lesson to spare the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of the lesson is Trust in the Lord and Do Good. So I like to say, Shalom, to all I listen and learn. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path to righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we must what? Trust in the Lord and do good. What? Be obedient. Constantly what? Or do His will. Constantly what? Believe. Constantly have the faith. We're coming upon what? Some perilous time, which in fact is what? It's Jacob trouble, a time of trouble that we have never seen for. Also, we're coming right upon the what? The end and also the great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So that we must constantly what? Prophesy, you know, keep not silent. Constantly be a what? A watchman for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, and the Lord is getting ready what? To give us a what? The desires of our heart. And that because what? We first seek the what? The kingdom of heaven. And the Lord said, everything else will be given unto you. And that about it, hey, we keep in the faith. We keep pushing. We keep striving. And that about it, we must not be faint hearted because we almost what? To the finish line. You know, we seeing that, hey, these Bible prophets are rolling. You know what I'm saying? And these and the prophets are what? They are standing on their feet. And that's why they're working overtime. You know what I'm saying? Everyone, we are here. Everyone is standing in their lot. And that's why we know that we're living in some, some dark, perilous time. And also some exciting time. Rejoice ye heaven. And that's why we are very close. And that's why we know that, you know, hey, this place got to be what? Totally destroyed. So that's why we're signing and crying left and right. And that's why we know that this is not our risk. And that's why the Lord said, trust in him and do good. You know what? What? Do his will. You know what I'm saying? Be what? Obedience. You know what I'm saying? Keep the faith, keep pushing, you know, keep prophesying, you know what I'm saying? Keep, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 spreading the word, you know what I'm saying? The Lord said, if you love me, feed my sheep. And that's exactly what the men of the Lord is doing. And that about, you know what I'm saying, the true believers of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and that about the house of David, they are rising each and every day. Our light is shining. And that about the Lord is getting ready to return, and we cannot wait. So the title of the daily lesson, once again, is Trust in the Lord and Do Good. So we get started. <clears throat> we can start, we open up uh, with a quick precept. Let's go to Psalm chapter 37, the title of the daily lesson. Let's go to Psalm chapter 37, and we'll start at verse 3. Psalm chapter 37 and verse 3. And it reads, said, it said, trust in the Lord and do good, so shall thy uh, dwell in the land, and, and verily thou shall be fed. Let's read that again. Uh, Psalm chapter 37 and verse 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. And I about it, you know what I'm saying? We must what be obedient of the will of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah, constantly, you know, meditate day and night in this great wisdom. Constantly what? Prophesy. You know what I'm saying? Whether they what we're here or whether they will forbear. You know, all we trying to do what is seal the elect and get out of here. That's what we're trying to do. Constantly do things that's what. Pleasing to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh said, we must keep the faith. We must roll in the spirit each and every. We must constantly pray, watch, and be sober. And I because we're living in these times. All all sorts of Bible prophecy are coming to life left and right. And I about it is a high time, you know what, to do the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh said, do good, be obedient, obey the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh said, trust in the Lord. And I because we are here. And I about hey, we're coming upon that time. And I about hey, whoo. We are very excited. So now to start back up. And the Lord said, we shall be what? Fed with what? This wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, what? These living waters. And out about it, you know, we are never thirst. And out about it, we what? We trust and believe in Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So let's start back up. Psalm chapter 37, we'll start back up at verse 40. I mean, verse 4. So like, delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. And out about what do we desire? What? The kingdom of heaven, the what that dwells in righteousness, rulership, spiritual power, immortality. That's what we long for each and every day and see all our enemies what be laid down into slavery. What was done to us is getting ready to be done to them because what we trust in the Lord and we what we obey in the Lord and we doing good each and every day through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So let's start back up. Verse uh, five said, Commit thy ways unto the Lord and trust also in him, and he shall bring 
it to pass. And the Lord is what? It's bringing it to pass. Seeing that he's what? He's constantly putting uh, uh, the curses on the other nation. And out about, we're constantly rising and they coming down. Out about, he's bringing one kingdom down. He's bringing the other kingdom up, which in fact is what? It's the kingdom of heaven. Esau is the end of this earth age. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow the kingdom of heaven. And out about the Lord is what is, is bringing it to pass each and every day. We see it with our own eyes and we're very excited. So rejoice ye heaven. So now let's start back up. Uh, Psalm chapter 37. And we'll start back up at verse six there. And he, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as, as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Verse uh, seven said, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. It said, fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way because of the man who brings a, a wicked devices to pass. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Verse eight says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret uh, not thyself in any wise to do evil. Uh, verse nine, for evildoers shall be cut off, uh, but those that wait upon the Lord they shall inherit the earth, the elect. Verse 10, it says, for, for yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yea, uh, though that thou shalt dil uh, uh, diligently consider his, his place, and it shall not be. Verse 11, but the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. That is the elect, the house of David. And I about it, we constantly what? Trust in the Lord. We constantly believe the Lord. We constantly want to do what? His will each and every day. Constantly want to do things what? that's pleasing. You know what I'm saying? Feed my sheep if you love. It. Keep my commandment as you love it at the best of your ability. And I'd like, oh, we're living in these times. And I'd say, so, so we don't want to uh, uh, be partakers of what? Being an evildoer. We want to be uh, what? Do good. You know what I'm saying? Do righteousness each and every day. You know what I'm saying? Do things that. Uh, uh, that's pleasing, you know, constantly what? Strengthen ourselves in what? In this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding, this gospel, this word that only comes from what? Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shaka. We trust in the Lord. And out of about here, because we're here. It is at the door. So now, let's go to uh, Sirach chapter 2. Sirach chapter 2, one moment. Sirach chapter 2, one moment. A quick lesson through the Spirit, and I hope that you get edified. Uh, Sirach chapter 2, one moment. Sirach chapter 2, and we'll start up at verse 10. Sirach chapter 2 and verse 10. And it reads, said, look at the generation of old and see did uh, ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken or who did he uh, ever despise that called upon him? Uh, verse 11, for the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long suffering and very pitiful and forgives uh, sins and saveth in times of affliction. So the Lord is what? He's very long so very what? Merciful. And I about it, you know, we're in a time of our what? Our affliction, a time of what trouble that we have never seen before. Great persecution, great death and destruction. But the Lord will never forsake us. He will never leave us because what? We trust in the Lord. We also what? We fear the Lord. And I about it, hey, the Lord is here for us all the way to the finish line. He will what? Deliver us deliver us in what? In those times of trouble, which in fact is now. And out of about Jacob trouble is at the door. World War Three is constantly brewing. And out of about we're here. All hell is getting ready to break loose. And uh, let's get a quick precept. Let's go to uh, 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 Hebrew chapter uh, 13. <clears throat> quick lesson through the spirit. A faith booth. Uh, Hebrew chapter 13 and verse, one moment. <clears throat> and verse uh verse eight uh Hebrews chapter thirteen and verse eight Yahushua Hamasiah the same yesterday and today and forever so the Lord never changed and I'd about it, you know so so the Lord is not what slack concerning His promise and I'd about it do it tear wait for it. it shall surely come so it's speaking loud and clear at the end not about it, because what we trust and believe. In the Lord, we what we trust in His word, and out about the Lord said what He will deliver us, and out about the Lord is doing it each and every day through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh So now let's go to uh, 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 Isaiah chapter one and verse sixteen. Isaiah chapter one and verse sixteen. One moment. <clears throat> Isaiah chapter one and verse sixteen, <clears throat> and it really said, "It said, wash you." 
make you clean. Put away the evil of your doings uh, from before my eyes. Uh, cease to do evil. And that's about right now, you know, it's time to what? To come under that what? Total subjection to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and do things what? That's pleasing to him. You know, come away from evil. Come away from these mortal thoughts. And I about, and come under that what? That right mindset. You know what I'm saying? That dwells what? In righteousness. You know, come back into that what? That great and marvelous light. If the Lord is dealing with you. And I about it, hey, we are here. It is at the door. And I about it, hey, it's time, you know what I'm saying? Constantly, but be purified by this what? This word each and every day. Meditate day and night, you know what I'm saying? Constantly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 keep not sad. Constantly prophesy, you know what I'm saying? Everything, you know what I'm saying? Right now, we at the finish line. Give it all you got, because we almost here. The kingdom of heaven, it is at hand. So now, Isaiah chapter one, and we'll start back up at verse uh, 17. It said, it said, learn to do well. Seek judgment, say, uh, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, uh, please, I uh, said, said, uh, plead for the widow, uh, verse 18. Come now, let us reason together, says the Lord. Uh, though your sins be as uh, scarlet, uh, they shall be as white as snow, though they be uh, red like a chrism, they shall be as wool, verse 19. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of, of that land. And I'd about, you know, one thing about all our, what all our sins are like, what filthy rag, but through the word, the Lord is what, it's constantly cleansing them, constantly purifying to that great and glory return. And I'd about, you know, even though we, we're going to be persecuted, even though we're going to go through all sorts of uh, affliction, all sorts of what, adversity. And also, you know what I'm saying, we're getting ready to be tried as gold, is tried in the fire, but that about we will be found worthy because we're what? We trust and believe in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. We obey. We was being what? Obedient. You know what I'm saying? Doing the will of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. So let's start back up. Verse 19, and, and it, I mean, verse 20, and it reads, said, but if ye refuse uh, and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. And who is the mouth of the Lord? The prophet. And I about we sign and crying left and right. And I about if you want to constantly do evil, you constantly want to uh, uh, turn your back on your house, by Hashem, you constantly want to be a despiser, a mocker. And I about you will be put to death. The sword is coming. And I about the Lord said, first my judgment will start at the house of Israel. And then you also, you can go to what? Jeremiah, I mean, Zechariah chapter 13, verse eight. It'll tell you two parts therein will be cut off and die because what? They won't, they would, what? They hated the what? They hated the good and they always wanted to do evil. And I'd about, you know, constantly being despised, constantly want to be what? A wicked. And I'd about, hey, the Lord, you know what I'm saying? They didn't trust in the Lord, you know what I'm saying? And I'd about, they did not believe. And I'd about, a lot of people get ready to die in a great number because what? They don't trust in the Lord. They don't believe. You know what I'm saying? They don't have the faith. And out of fact, they're going to be destroyed. And out of fact, hey, the Lord is getting ready to what? To bring that what? That recompense and jump is right upon us. So, you know what I'm saying? Trust in the Lord and do good. And who is that? That is the elect, the house of David, the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So now let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to uh, John, St. John. Let's go to St. John's one moment. St. John's. St. John chapter 6 and verse no Salakia. One moment. St. Saint, Saint, uh, John chapter 7 and verse, I think it's verse 38. St. John chapter 7 and verse 38. One moment. And it reads, say, He that believeth on me, as the scriptures has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So that everybody you knows these living waters are flowing. What is that? The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth. And I about call what we believe in the Lord. And I about the Lord is working in us each and every day. The one that sent us. And I about you saw a lot of people that are scoffing and mock, constantly coming up against us. You are you really hating the one that sent us. That is what Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. These living waters are flowing in what in the prophets and the true believers of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, doing things that's pleasing, constantly walking in the paths of righteousness. Not leaning on our own understanding, but trusting and believing in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. He's the only way and he's the only answer. So let's get that quick precept. Let's go to Proverbs chapter uh Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. One moment. One moment. Uh Proverbs, one moment. Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. One moment. 
<clears throat> and it reads, it said, trust in the Lord with all thy heart or, or your mind and lean not on your own understanding. Verse six, in all thy ways, acknowledge him or confess he and he shall uh, di direct thy path. Verse seven, uh, be not wise in thy own eye. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. So we in this time, you must depart from evil. Come out of this mindset. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, this is not your rest. This place is polluted. You don't want to be partakers of her, of her sins. And I did about, Lord, let's get ready to destroy this place. And I did about, we want to do good. We want to what? Lean not on our own understanding. We want to what? Walk under the what? The righteous path. You know what I'm saying? The, the path that the what? The Lord walked when he was upon this earth. We want to pick up the cross and follow Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And I'd about, hey, he is the only way, the only house. And I'd about, the Lord is getting ready to bring that recompense and judgment. We read upon us. And I'd about, Bible prophecy are jumping off the page. And I'd about, it's time to do good. You know what I'm saying? It's time to do things that's pleasing to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Believe. You know what I'm saying? Keep the faith. Keep pushing. And I about the Lord said, Behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me. Woo! We almost to the finish line, and we cannot wait. Woo! The kingdom of heaven, it is at hand. Woo! Just rolling in the spirit. Let's go to Romans chapter, uh, Romans chapter 8 and verse 35. Romans chapter 8 and verse 35. Romans chapter 8, one moment, and verse 35. One moment. <clears throat> and it reads, so, Who shall separate us? From the love of the Hamasiah. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or perils or, or the soul. So nothing will separate us from the love of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shekha. What? We what? We trust in Him. And that about whatever we face, what? Tribulation, even what? Persecution, even what? The sword, even what? These perils, these trouble, what? These afflictions, these adversity, you know what I'm saying? This time of trouble that we have never seen before, but nothing will what? Take us off the path of righteousness. And I, but we have our eyes on the pride, which in fact is what? The kingdom of heaven. We wait for the Lord to deliver us. How long, oh Lord? We ready. We ready to get out of this nightmare. So let's start back up. Romans chapter eight, and we'll start back up at verse 36. It said, as it is written, for, for, for thy sake, we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep uh, for the slaughter. And I, but we don't have any power. Only thing we have is the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But the Lord is our power. And the Lord said he will protect us. He will guide us. You know what I'm saying? He will sustain us. And he also, he will provide for us. And also he will what? Deliver us. And I, but we don't have anything to worry about. Woo, let's go. So, uh. Romans chapter 8 and verse, uh, one moment, and verse 30 said, it said, nay, in all these things, we are more than conqueror through him that love us. You know, the Lord said, we already got the victory. And I'd about, all we must do is keep on that right path of righteousness. And I'd about, hey, the kingdom of heaven, it is very, very close. Woo, let's go. Uh, verse 38, it said, for I am persuaded that uh, neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. Verse 39, nor heights, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Almighty, which is in, in the Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Will not to separate us. You know what I'm saying? Because what? If we're part of the whole filet, you know what I'm saying? The Lord already know. Who will get this? You know what I'm saying? The election has attained and the rest were blind because what? They didn't trust in the Lord and they didn't want to what? To follow after what? Righteousness. They didn't want to do good. They, they constantly wanted what? To be what? Disobedient. And I'd about the Lord to get ready to come back and destroy two thirds of our people because they were, they was that rebellious house that did not want to return to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Woo! We are here. We are almost to the finish line. So won't nothing separate us from the love of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We love him. He love us. And we also, we fear the Lord. And we're going to constantly do what? The will of the Lord. We're going to constantly be obedient. And out about it, hey, we are here. Woo! We are here. So now, let's go to uh, one moment. Let's go to a Psalm chapter. One moment. Let's go to Psalm chapter. No, let's go to Jeremiah chapter 29. Jeremiah chapter 29. One moment. Jeremiah chapter 29. One moment. <clears throat> Jeremiah chapter 29 and we'll start up at verse, one moment we'll start up at verse uh, 11 
And it really said, for I know uh, the thoughts uh, that I think toward you, says the Lord, the thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. And that about we cannot wait. You know, our salvation is very close than we yet believe. Verse 12, then shall ye call upon me and ye shall go and pray uh, to me and I will hearken unto you who praying to the Lord, you know, who calling the Lord, the elect, you know what I'm saying? We are magnifying his name each and every day through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. How long, O oh Lord, come deliver us, Lord. You know what I'm saying? We cannot wait. Woo! So now let's start back up. Jeremiah chapter 29, we'll start back up at verse 14. And I will be found in you, the elect, says the Lord, and I will uh, turn away your captivity, and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whether I have driven you, says the Lord, and I will bring you again uh, into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Verse uh, 15, uh, uh, because ye have said, the Lord has raised up, up prophets in Babylon. And out of Babylon, you know, the Lord is constantly raising us up. And out of Babylon, we're constantly what, shining to that great and glory return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So the Lord is getting ready what? To lift us up. The Lord is getting ready what? To put us back in our first estate. All we must do is constantly what? Walk in the path of right. Constantly believe. Keep the faith. Don't doubt. You know what I'm saying? Keep working. Keep grinding and out of Babylon, all the way to the finish line. You know, even in death, even in tribulation, even in what? Persecution. You know what I'm saying? Even in perils. You know what I'm saying? Whatever this red devil want to bring. And out of Babylon, we ready for him to bring it so we can what? Get to our final rest. And out of Babylon, we cannot wait. Woo! The Lord is on our side because we what? We trust and believe in Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. So now, let's go. Let's get a quick precept then we'll close out. Let's go to Psalm chapter 28. Quick precept and we'll close out. <clears throat> Psalm chapter uh, 28. One moment. Psalm chapter 28. A little bit under weather, <clears throat> but we're going to work through it. Uh, Psalm chapter 28 and verse uh, 7. One moment. <clears throat> and it reads, uh, uh, we'll start up at verse 6. Psalm chapter 28 and verse 6 said, said, Blessed be the Lord because he has heard the voice of of my supplication and those supplications, what we crying to the Lord, asking the Lord to get us out of this night, you know, to what to destroy all our enemies and also destroy what Babylon the Great, you know what I'm saying? Lord, destroy this place, Lord, and come get us, Lord, you know what I'm saying? Deliver us, Lord. That's what we're waiting on each and every day. Woo! We cannot wait. So the end is being manifest right before our eyes. The Lord is constantly hearing the cry of what? Of the unknown, his saints, which in fact is the elect, the house of day. Woo! We are here. So let's start back up. Verse 7, uh, Psalm chapter 28 and verse 7. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My, my heart trusts in him. And I and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoice. And, and with my son will I praise him. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Brachatha Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The water Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Verse 8. The Lord is is uh, their strength, and He is the saving strength of His anointed, the saint, the elect, the house of David. Verse nine: Save thy people and bless thy inheritance. Feed them also and lift them up forever. Who Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Hey, the Lord is getting ready to come and deliver. The Lord is getting ready to what? do a mighty work. We see in all of the signs of the times here. The Lord is here. The Lord is visiting the earth that he created. And that about the Lord is coming back what? for the first fruit. You know what I'm saying? The cream of the crop. You know what I'm saying? Which in fact is what? The elect, the house of David, the 144, and also what? The one third believers. And that about it. Hey, we almost to the finish line. Let's keep pushing. We almost there. So now, let's go to uh, our last and final script. Let's go to... Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and we'll close out here. 1 Corinthians, one moment. 1 Corinthians, one moment. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse, one moment. <clears throat> we'll start up at verse, uh, let's start up at verse uh, verse 57. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 57. said, but thanks be to the Almighty, which gives us the victory through our Lord, Yahushua Hamashiach, verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for, for as much as ye know 
that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. So your labor of love is not in vain. Keep what? Push it. Keep prophesying. Keep not sad. Be a watchman for Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. Feed his sheep. You know what he, what he tell Peter three times? Feed my sheep if you love me. We love the Lord. We fear the Lord. And that, we wait on that great and glory return of Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah. The kingdom of heaven, it is at hand. So the title of the day's lesson, once again, is Trust in the Lord and do good. So I'll like give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rikakadash. I like to say, Shalom.